You want to create wind lines and swirls in Blender? Start by adding a plane and rotate it around the Y axis. Move it a little bit to the side. Add a second plane, rotate it this time around the X axis 90 degrees and scale it on the Z axis. Press tab to go into edit mode, hit Ctrl R to create a loop cut and scroll your mouse wheel to create even more. Left click two times to affirm it. Move the last two vertices on each side a little bit more outwards on the X axis. Back into object mode, add in a subdivision modifier. Click on the drop down menu and hit apply. With that done, move the plane behind the other plane and call this one wind line. Select the first plane and add a particle system. If you press play now, the ball should fall down. To prevent that from happening, scroll down to the field weight settings and set gravity to zero. Now the balls move from left to right, but a little slow. To up the speed, change the velocity normal to around three. Now let's replace the balls with the wind line. For this, go to the render dropdown menu and select object. Under instance object, you can now select the wind line we created before. The scale and orientation is super off, so we select object orientation and up the scale. Let's also add some scale randomness to the scene. If you want less lines, just decrease the number to around 250. Let's add in a camera. Make sure the rotation is 90, 0, 0 and move the camera back on the Y axis. So we already have the wind lines, now let's add the swirls. For this we duplicate the wind line and call it swirl. For a better overview let's move this in a separate collection. Back in the camera we go to curve and select the path curve. In edit mode now we can scale it a little down and move it to the left side of the camera. Let's select the front vertice and with pressing E we can extrude the line and create the swirl. Make sure in the end you extrude it outside of the camera. All we have to do now is make sure that the swirl line also follows this curve. Therefore we select the swirl plane and add in a curve modifier. Under the curve object let's select the path we just created. Now let's move the swirl object back onto the x-axis. If we now move the swirl object on the x-axis and move it forward, we can see the swirl is happening. All we have to do now is adjust the scale, so just select the object and scale it down a little bit, so it matches with the other lines in the scene. To have the swirl animated, move it outside of the camera on the left side Press I and set a location keyframe. Move a few frames forward. Press GX again to move it on the X axis and move it outside of the camera on the right side. Press I again and set the second location keyframe. If you press play now, you can see the animation is happening of the swirl. To move the swirl around, let's add in a empty. Select the path, the object and the empty while hitting shift. Press command P to parent it and click on object. If you move now the empty, the whole swirl moves with it. If we select everything and duplicate it, we can move it around with G and replace the position. To offset the animation, just select the object and move the keyframes to a different time. As you can see on the second swirl, the object is still in the frame in the end. So make sure you move it outside of the frame and add a new keyframe. Now you have all the information on how to create wind lines and swirls. All you have to do now is add some environment and some background and you're finished. A little pro tip, go on the render settings and activate the motion blur. With this the wind lines look more like they are in motion. If you want to know how I created this stylized grass with the wind effect, check out my last video or click the link in the description. If you want to see more videos like this, just write it in the comments, leave a like and I hope I see you the next time. Bye bye.